Hello, my name is Inti. Welcome to Ali Lavender Farm. Our farm is a lavender farm. A lot of lavenders, but we also have a mesquite tree in our property. Look at this. It's beautiful. At the entrance of our lavender farm, on the two sides of the road, we have a lot of mesquite tree. Mesquite tree give a lot of shade to your property and also it's very a good food source for squirrel and other animals, rabbits, because they uh, produce a lot of uh, beans. The beans look like this. Look at this. And the, in each bean have a lot of seeds, and seeds are really hard. And they're gonna drop on the ground. One mature tree like this, I think this tree looks like a 10 year old or maybe 15. Probably, uh, I think 20, I I'm not sure but uh, pretty mature. And they produce a lot of uh, mesquite tree beans. This particular variety is called uh, uh, Texas honey mesquite, uh, honey mesquite tree. This beans are really sweet. You can make it powder and uh, you can make cookies or other uh, food. Long time ago, the Indian, local uh, native Indian, uh, they also eat mesquite tree beans. It's really sweet. Look at this, it's so beautiful. Especially in the uh, Southwest in America, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Southern California. If you have a land and you don't want to give them too much water, you can choose mesquite tree to plant. And they, their roots really go deep. I think the mature tree the roots can go 50 to 100 feet deep underground. They don't spread it on two sides too much. They like to go deeper. That's the reason. Another reason they are very drought tolerant. And uh, their leaf is very narrow. Look at this, their leaves. That's why there's another reason they conserve a lot of water, moist. It's desert uh, tree, drought tolerant. And uh, um, there are some of their branches, they have a thorn. This is a honey mesquite tree, thorn one. Uh, there are also thornless mesquite tree in Chile, South America. I haven't seen any uh, thornless one, but this, our, this is our uh, mesquite tree here is a thorn one. Look at this thorn. But as long as you don't cut the branch, you don't drop the branch on the ground. They only drop their leaves or their uh, beans, not branch. So don't worry about the thorn. If you trim your tree branch, you clean up them uh, quickly. So there's no worry about the, about the thorns. So overall, this tree is really good for shade. Look at this. Their branch spread very wide. And uh, most importantly, in Southwest, we don't have too much water, or our water is very expensive. You could uh, consider planting more uh, mesquite tree in your property. If you wanna have a mesquite tree from seeds, I'm selling seeds on Amazon. I'm gonna post my link in comment section, you can order a mesquite tree from me. It's fresh mesquite tree from our lavender farm. And uh, very soon I might sell lavender seeds or lavender products too. But uh, it's been third month in our lavender farm. So it just start blooming. Now it's October, 2024. Not too much production yet because very uh, new lavender farm, but we are gonna have enough lavender for sale very soon. Lavender products for sale. And today's video is about mesquite tree. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe my channel and click likes. If you want to know more about mesquite tree, you also can uh, contact me privately. I can talk more about mesquites. Oh, look at this. Underneath this tree, a lot of shade and also cool, give you a cooler weather microclimate. 
beautiful tree i highly recommend mosquitoes i love mosquitoes see you next time bye bye